Hey, happy Monday. Miles here at Tackle Hive. Welcome to another episode of Blast Off Mondays. We have to change gears a little bit because we originally planned to have Coach shoot uh, 458 SOCOM at, and, at ceramic tiles and see how many inches of ceramic tiles it would take to stop the round. But uh, Coach got tied up, so we have to change gears and do something a little different. So we're just gonna do something fun here. You've probably seen this in some of our videos, this bulletproof vest, which we use for force and force classes. And uh, you know, it's it served us well. It is a, uh, a 3A plus vest. And so, you know, it was lying around. We were thinking about, you know, what can we do in the interim? And so we're gonna shoot the vest and see what happens with uh, four different uh, rounds here. Now we, on the back of the vest, we're going to shoot birdshot, 40 cal and nine mil. Now we don't expect any of those rounds to penetrate, nothing to penetrate through. So we're gonna do them all on the same side here because this vest is 3A plus, right? So rated for that. But we're not sure about this slug. So we the same slug we shot the marble with, the PDX, the Winchester PDX, which is a hybrid of buckshot and slug. We're gonna shoot the front and see if it rings the steel, if it will penetrate through. I don't know, I honestly have no clue, so I'm very interested in seeing that. So let's see what happens. We're gonna shoot this from 20 yards and uh, we'll do one each and uh, then we'll take a look at the vest. So we're about 20 yards away. The vest is on a steel plate over there and we are going to start with the bird shot off of a Mossberg 930 and let's just see what happens. All right, let's go take a look. At the vest here, as expected, the bird shot did a lot of damage in the sense that we see a lot of little, you know, black spots with the BBs hit, but really didn't penetrate through even in the side panel. So you can just feel that there's nothing on the other side. So clearly the bird shot wouldn't have, wouldn't do anything against a 3A plus uh, vest. Now let's take a look at nine mil and 40 from 20 yards. So with the uh, 40, I'm gonna shoot um, down here by the stomach and then the nine mil up top and we'll do them run after the other. And then we'll take a look at what happens. Back at the 20, I'm going to shoot the vest in the chest area with a Glock 34, okay, nine mil here. And the round I'm going to use is one of those uh, polymer rounds. I believe it's a polymer round, the uh, Novex uh, Plus P round. So we'll see what happens here. It's a, it's a light round that's moving really fast and we'll see what happens, all right, here we go. All right, shot it with a nine. I'm gonna grab the 40 and then we're gonna shoot it and then take a look at the vest. Back at the 20, going to shoot the vest now with a 40 cal, 124 grain jacket hollow points out of a 2011 40 cal. This is from Rogue Tactical, my, from my buddy Eric. He made it custom made, so let's see how it does against that vest. Whoa, it rang it. <laughs> so let's go take a look. All right, so we took out the uh, body armor from the vest to see, get a better picture of everything. So unfortunately, I didn't realize that the 40, the 40 cal, that was the first shot I ever taken out of that 40 cal. So the sights are not zeroed. So it actually happened, the nine mil, and what a coincidence, the nine mil and the 40 are pretty much right here. But interestingly, you heard a ding with the 40 and it did, you know, it did really ding the steel, but it didn't penetrate through. So you'll see like a little lump here, but it didn't penetrate through the armor. So that was just the force hitting this, the bullet. So nothing went through, but let's just take a look at the inside here and where the bullets kind of uh, penetrated here at the front. Let's kind of see what we see. Yep, and you can see both bullets are right here. There's one, and the second one is, actually may have fell down. It's definitely in here. But, yep, one of them, this is uh, the 40 here, got stopped. Um, this is what caused the ding, and the nine mil is deep in here. I'm not gonna even cut it out, but there you guys have it. So clearly the 3A plus is gonna stop birdshot 40 and uh, nine mil from 20 yards. Now, remember that nine mil was a polymer round and it could be kind of 
kind of disintegrate. It's not the same, you know, it's not that lead jacketed uh, type. So that's why it's hard to find right now. It may have really morphed in its shape. But now let's go shoot the front of the vest. This is, I have no clue. I've never really even thought about shooting a vest with a slug from 20 yards. So let's see. And this is a combination of slug and buckshot. Let's take a look at what happens. All right, back at the 20, this time with the PDX round with the slug and buckshot. Let's see what happens. This is the one I'm really curious about. Whoa, definitely a big hole there in the center. Let's see what happened. Well, 3A plus does not stop a slug at uh, 20 yards. It went right through, create this big hole, and you can actually see marks on the steel here. It definitely did go through. I'm gonna show you right here. And there is just all this damage. Let me just open this up here. So you'll see right here, it just, it just ripped right through. The buckshot didn't do anything. Buckshot may have just kind of um, uh, fell off, uh, didn't even penetrate it, nothing, I can't see it, but really from 20 yards, that's the answer there. I never knew, I didn't know what would happen with the slug with a 3A plus, but uh, there you guys go. That said, we looked at the vest again. The, the buckshot did, we did see some spots here, here, and here, so it, it ruined the vest, but uh, the outer lining, but didn't penetrate at all. There you guys have it. We had to change things up because of a scheduling issue with Coach, but we'll be back to our regular programming next week. And if there's anything that you want us to try and shoot, any platform, ammo, whatever it is, leave it in the comments, let us know, and we'll see you in the next video.